Love Like War. Love Like War was a great video to make because uh, obviously we got Vic involved, who was um, such an important piece of that song. And it was, you know, it was a fun video. I think we, we kind of, that one came together pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I think we were sort of very busy at the time uh, and like mid cycle and probably leaving for tour shortly. So we had to do something that was really cool and fun, but also didn't, you know, it wasn't gonna take three days to make. We had to kind of bang it out. Um, and it really was just, it kind of relied heavily on performance. And then this, uh, I, I didn't even fully understand the concept at first. I remember right. shooting it being like, what is this gonna be? Um, but then the director and the writer who came up with it, like said, he, like shot all this basically vintage style footage and uh, created this, these two <laughs> lovers in a weird uh, epic failing romance uh, that um, kind of tied the whole thing together. And I, I think there's a lot of, one of my favorite things about that video is the amount of like gifts and screen grabs that came from it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of videos of me touching Vic's hands and I think it resulted in a lot of fan fiction for people, which is always uh, healthy and fun. I think it was our first time um, performing with someone in a music video. Mm -hmm. We've had like cameos like Mark Hoppus and Pete Wentz, but this is our first time actually performing with, with someone, which was cool. That was cool. It was hard for me to, to not be the center of attention for a video, because Vic kept coming in and stealing my spotlight. So that was tough for me to deal with. It left me in a very... Uh, still I, dealing, I was, he's still in therapy. I'm broken. I'm a broken man because of that video and Vic.